Welcome to the next system test with the SFP400 Fire Alarm Control Panel. In this test, I'll be featuring the Federal Signal 4050-001T Fire Alarm Pulse Station, the Simplex 4251-20, uh, we have a System Sensor 2400 as the smoke detector, and then a Wheelock 7002T-24 for the fire alarm. So the Wheelock 7002T in this test is going to sound a little bit weird, and that's because this panel put, does not put out filtered DC power, and that's the kind of power this alarm is meant to take. Instead, it puts out FWR power, and as a result of that, the horn will still sound and the strobe will still flash, but it'll just sound a little scratchy. So for our first test today, we're going to test our system sensor 2400 with some actual smoke, and we'll set that off and see the alarm go off. So to do this, we're just going to be um, lighting this piece of paper on fire and then blowing it out. Just as a disclaimer, do not play with fire or anything unless you have adult permission, and if you're older than 18, of course, you got to still be careful. So... All right, we'll go ahead and test this with some actual fire slash smoke. It's taken a while to go off. Wow. The amount of smoke this is put there it goes. Now the alarm is silenced, and since it's a smoke detector, it will automatically reset when we push the reset button. Alright, and now we'll go ahead and test the Federal Signal 4050-001T, and we'll just pull it down. Here we go. Okay, and then now the Simplex 4251-20. Alright, okay, so pulse stations don't reset automatically like smoke detectors, so now we're going to go ahead and manually reset these. So this one, you just take a screwdriver and unscrew it, and it just pops back up, and then the switch inside also automatically pops up because this is spring-loaded. Okay, and then you just tighten back up the screw, and you're done. And then with this one, it's really easy. You just stick a key in, open it, and then it just pops back up, and you just close it again. And now we can go ahead and reset the fire alarm control panel. So open up the door, look inside, and then we're just going to push this reset button. And then yes, the unknown circuit trouble is still there, which is weird. For those who are wondering, the Wheelock 7002 Ts are still being sold on my eBay account. I only have a few left, and they're being sold for like $20 free shipping. Not a bad price, I think. And then also the uh, the Federal Signal 4050-001Ts, those are all sold out. So guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.